Hey guys, <coughs> hi. So this is a very beautiful question, a very simple but very beautiful question. And let's see how to solve this. Although this question looks very solvable, looks like that, okay, we'll do the squaring both sides and then do blah, blah, blah kind of thing and we'll get an answer. Although believe me, it's not that easy. So we have got an x square minus y square equals to 24. We have got an x into y equals to 35. And then we have to find the value of x plus y. So generally what we do, we uh, assume some value of x plus y and then we do the squaring both side and then we put the values and then we get the answer. Although that is not going to happen here because if you do the square both side, uh, you'll get x square plus y square whose value you don't know and you won't be able to use the value of x square minus y square there. So in that scenario, that won't be possible. So what we can do here, we are given this value x square minus y square equals to 24. Okay, so let's open it, I can write it x plus y into x minus y, a square minus b square formula we all know, e equals to 24. Now, I can do squaring both sides for this equation and right now you might be thinking why to square it, let me tell you why. So first square it both sides. So if you square it both sides, you will have x plus y ka whole square and then you will have x minus y ka whole square. And that is equal to 24 square, which is 576. Now x plus y whole square will open as x square plus y square plus 2xy. And this x minus y whole square will open as x square plus y square minus 2xy. And that is equal to 576. Cool. Now if you assume this x square plus y square to be a. So this is your a plus this is 2 into xy. So we can put the value of xy that is 35 already given. So 2 into 35 is 70. So this is a plus 70 into this we have assumed a. So this is minus 2 into 35 that is 70. So I hope you are able to understand that this is again a plus b into a minus b. a plus 70 into a minus 70. That is equals to 576. So what we will get? a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square. So that is a square minus 70 square equals to 576. Now what is this a square? So this a square is nothing but x square plus y square whole squared. And this 70 square will go to that side. So we have this x square plus y square and that's a whole squared equals to 70 square will go to that side. So 576 plus 4900, 4900. So from here, <coughs> if I'm not wrong, we'll get 5476, 5476. And after that, x square plus y square. So we'll have to do under root. So x square plus y square, x square plus y square, whole squared, whole squared, this is whole square, 576 plus 4900. So if I'm not wrong, this is 5476. So 5476, uh, again, you will have to apply some brain. So this is more than 70, that is very sure because this is 70 square plus something, uh, 24 square. So 70 square plus 24 square, we'll have to apply some brain. Uh, let's take a random 75 plus square. What it is, 75 is 5625. So 5625, this number is a lesser than this. So I can try 74 square. So let's do 74 square, 4 square, 16, 1, 26, uh, 56, 1, 7, and uh, uh, 5476. Okay, so this is 74 square. So if this is 74 square, you are very well, well understood that x square plus y square whole squared is equals to 74 square. So one thing very sure, I can write x square plus y square equals to 74 plus minus. Why a plus minus? Because whenever we cancel the squares, <coughs> we always put plus minus. Although here the minus value would not be taken because both the terms are square. So if both the terms are square, both are, the terms are going to be positive and positive plus positive cannot be a negative number. It will be imaginary. So hence we have got x square plus y square that is equals to 74. But we have been asked the value of x plus y. So to get the value of x plus y, I can add 2xy both side. So I can write plus 2xy here. I can write plus 2xy here. Cool? Plus 2xy. Now x square plus y square plus 2xy, this is undoubtedly x plus y whole square and that is equal to 74 plus 2 times xy. So xy value is already known 35, 35 into 2 is 70, so we have got a 70. 70 plus 74 is undoubtedly 144, so we have got 
x plus y whole squared is equals to 144, which is nothing but 12 square. And hence, finally, we have got the answer that x plus y whole square equals to 12 square. So x plus y, x plus y can be plus 12 or minus 12. Here we'll have two values, plus 12 and minus 12, because x and y can be negative or positive. No issues in that. So x plus y can be plus 12 or minus 12. And hence, that's the answer. Did you like it? I hope you would have liked this. If that is the case, so do like the video and share this with your friends also. Or rather, I would suggest ask them this question first. If they are able to solve it, that's great. Otherwise, you can send them this solution to let them know also that how this question is particularly solved. If you like the video and if you want more such videos, follow this channel, subscribe to this channel and uh, do visit these problems. I put these problems every day. You'll like it. So see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. So guys, I hope you loved and enjoyed the problem. And if that is the case, so I would like to give you one more problem as a challenge which you should solve and send me the answers. What do you say? So if, if you are ready, here is the problem. In this problem, what you have to do, you have to solve this question and write the answers in the comment box. If I get a lot of right answers, then I'm very, very happy. I'll be very happy to see all of you solving these challenging questions. And in case if you're not able to solve, just write down in the comment box that, sir, I'm not able to solve it. Kindly help or kindly guide. I'll be very happy and uh, based on the responses given by you guys in the comment box, I'll be bringing a solution video for this particular question in the next session. Okay. So I hope you loved and enjoyed this video. So if you, if that is the case, please write down in the comment box, your valuable feedback. Do like the video and subscribe the channel for more such beautiful contents. See you in the next video. Thank you.